parents are leaving for the Super Bowl, and I am sitting on the computer writing, as it should be. I was too lazy to set up my camera. I've got mail. Maybe. You've got mail. Yay! Hi, Julie. It's Sunday, February seventh, two thousand ten. My parents are going to the Super Bowl, and I am sitting here. I think I'm going to watch Back to the Future, which has nothing to do with the Super Bowl, but, you know, I was thinking, I was like, what do I watch? I could watch, um, football movie, football movie, that one movie with The Rock and Chick, the little girl from Chloe in the House, what was that called, Game Plan? I could watch that. But I would much rather watch Back to the Future. As you saw in my pictures, I got 50 chicken McNuggets from McDonald's because of the Super Bowl. They're having this whole big special thing. Why do I have my headphones in? I'm not even listening to anything. And the chicken McNuggets are really yummy. So I don't know if you're watch gonna watch the Super Bowl, Julie, but I am because I love the commercials. And I kind of want to know who wins, like, something like that. Uh, I don't know what you, what team you're supporting, but, um, we're going to support the Saints because they've never been to the Super Bowl before, and the Colts have either been twice or won twice, I don't remember. You know, I still hear noises downstairs, and you know what that means? That means my parents haven't left yet. Go away. So, my mom found this notebook at the bookstore, and it says Haven on the front, because that's the name of the poem inside by Ellen Hopkins. Haven. So much I want to say, but silence swells, black as midsummer clouds, stacked upon hills between us. My heart rumbles, heavy with thunder I cannot give voice to. But alone in this place, I let my words rage and relentless downpour against the pages a rain of what was, what is, what yet may come. And when at last the storm recedes, I find in its amber wake stories left behind, dreams set adrift here in my paper harbor. But oh, things. Now the really cool thing about this notebook is the pages. They look wrinkled, but they're not. I don't think you've met Matt, Robert continued. He dragged the mousy boy over beside Katrina, who was slightly taller than me. Matt, Katrina, he said, pointing to each of them. Hi, Matt said tentatively. Nice to meet you, Katrina said, taking note that the boy was leaning away from her slightly. Matt smiled weakly. Yes, he said, although it didn't sound like he was happy to meet her. Katrina noticed that he was still hugging the large book to his chest. What's in the book? Katrina asked. He glanced nervously at the book and then said, Lohes. The book disappeared from his eyes and he looked up at Katrina with a smile. Nothing. He answered. So I was thinking, Robert said. You? Thinking? Mariana said sarcastically. I can't believe it. I was thinking, he repeated through gritted teeth, that Katrina could partner with Matt and I, since it's an uneven number now. And that's really all I have there. I know this is so boring. I'm supporting Gryffindor in the Super Bowl. Yep. Because you know the Super Bowl is Quidditch, right? Yep. Okay. Bye.